everybody, John Henderson Pierre, the Beer Ramble, back again today. The beer that everybody's been raving about and talking about. The Budweiser Repeal, 1933 Repeal Reserve Amber Lager. I'm sure there have been plenty of videos on this on the tube. I've seen plenty of pictures of this and it came out a couple of days ago. So far, the responses have been pretty good. Um, I bought a six pack of this the other day and had two and said, let me go ahead and review this and I have a couple more. It's been in the refrigerator for a couple of days. My beer is a little chilled. My glass is a bit chilled. So, um, very frothy as you can see. Um, this is an Anheuser-Busch attempt in Bev, Anheuser-Busch MF attempt to really get into the sort of the new revival we've been seeing of a lot of these beers, or so, well, sort of reintroducing, reintroducing some of these retro beers or beers that were made back in the day, but sort of lost distribution or maybe, well, distribution didn't, wasn't there, or maybe just completely got lost in the shuffle. And now uh, seem to be coming back within the last maybe eight, nine years. And some of it probably could got could get started from the day of um, what's his name, uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon with the whole retro thing, um, going back to the nineteen uh, ninety nine early two thousands when that was sort of the retro hipster beer, and then that movie came, and then realizing that a lot of these beers were doing well sales wise, and then recently you've had the the, the beast Milwaukee's best lager. Uh, a couple of other beers who have sort of, and then now the reintroducing of hams again. A lot of these beers that were made and either just kind of got lost in the shuffle once the big boys came, you know, Budweiser, regular Budweiser and whatnot. Um, uh, Coors, whatever. And a lot of these beers just sort of kind of lost in the shuffle, but now seem to be slowly coming back. Uh, uh, Milwaukee's Best, as I mentioned. Um, the gentleman's lager, best lager now, Milwaukee's best premium, back again to that name. Um, I mentioned Hams, a few others, Miller High Life, the significant advertising push they've really been putting out on that, onto that beer as well. So, um, but I should notice what's been going on with that. Um, Old Tankard Ale by Paps as well, another one which kind of have sort of disappeared for whatever the reason that that beer was a good beer using a 1933 1937 recipe and for whatever reason that just kind of just it took off and went and then all of a sudden then it just, just disappeared and sales wasn't as good as people would like, like it to be so anyway here's what the beer looks like folks you can see a very red amber red lager style you can see a nice little red color on this one very frothy head not bad. Definitely has a lot of amber, a lot of some good flavors into this one here. Yeah, this is not bad at all, folks. Smells good. I had again, I had this the other day, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is this is this is quite good. Yeah, this is good. Um, the bottles I really like right now, kind of reminiscent of the bottles. If you've seen old commercials on YouTube or maybe look at photos on you do your searches of whatever these bills. You see these these are the stubby bottles that were very they were popular back then. And um, these are sort of the right we're using those bottles again. So um, Budweiser decided to put this back out during the holiday season. And I think they made a good move with this. I think this is going to probably going to do well during the holidays. I think this is a really good beer to have during Thanksgiving, Christmas time. You know, 6.1% ABV is not bad. You know, it's not overly strong like a high gravity beer or extra strong beer or a, a lower light lager. You know, six point sort of kind of in between. So 
Yeah, I mean, I think this is going to do well. Um, very good taste, very refreshing. It has some similarities. I think I don't, I don't think it has any similarities. I think it's a little more bolder, a little more um, malt characters than say the Yingling uh, uh, traditional lager. Mm -hmm. So, and people kind of thought maybe that might be the comparison people may be having with this that beer and that beer, maybe similar in, in style. But this is a little more flavor to it, and um, you know, um, it was another article I also saw that that, that some people were saying this is the end of Anheuser Busch as we know it. You know, you know that nobody's drinking Budweiser. Uh, one of my YouTube follower, YouTube reviewers as well, fellow YouTube reviewers, uh, Lance the Lush, made a comment on that on one of his videos, and and it was also another article on that on Vine Pair. If you read that website, um, I thought that was a bunch of Bull. I don't think that that's ever gonna go, you know, go away. I think people are gonna, you know, I have my reservations about Bud Light. You know, obviously a lot of advertisers on Bud Light and Budweiser, more on Bud Light than Budweiser than anything. But um, and of course you've seen a lot of the ads as well recently on commercials and TV. But um, I, I don't think that that's gonna be the case. I think people are going to be drinking Bud Light and Budweiser forever till they till the cows come home. You know, who knows. Uh, I think it's a bunch of inaccurate ball. I still drink Budweiser from time to time. I think it's great. I don't buy it a lot, but I think it it's good. I th and, you know, Milwaukee's best lager hams are probably better, in my opinion. PBR is probably better, in my opinion. But, you know, that's just my view of it, you know, whatever it is. But everyone's saying, you know, oh, this is the end of Budweiser, but whatever. But, um, yeah, I think this is going to do well for the holiday season. Very refreshing, very enjoyable lager. Smooth, easy drinking, nothing bad about this at all. I think this is quite good, and um, I think they they've really hit the hit hit their hit their mark on this very well. So um, I'm gonna give this a very good score. I think I'm gonna put maybe like a good nine on this one. I think this is this is this is this is quite good. Nothing negative on this. Tar sweet, a little sweetness, a little, a little caramel flavor but a little bit a little bit malty but this is just as a good good amber lager to have so that was my score a nine on this one if you've had this and deserves a nine leave your statements and comments on the bottom john and Pierre, the beer round team and keep on watching as always cheers amber lager when you say budweiser you had it all